happy evening my dear students uh, welcome back to this virtual online class of appa public school i am your social science teacher polson samson so let's today continue the chapter a uh, geog geography portion chapter 2 yes that is land soil water station natural vegetation and wildlife resources geography chapter number 2 and yes right hope so you all are happy and safe at your let's have a quick recap what we have studied uh, in and a depletion of land and then also the conservation of land and we have studied about uh, land slide And then soil, yes, depletion of soil, uh, weathering process also, and the different types of soil. Uh, along with that, you also learned about the factors responsible for soil formation and then, uh, conservation of soil. So then next, the topic was water. In water, yes, water we have studied about it. How much percentage uh, the water is stored? Right? And how much uh, percentage of fresh water is available? Water is available for us, and also we have studied about the pollution, like the main uh, factors, right, uh, which pollute the water. Uh, again, in that we have studied about the industrial pollution only. See, water, water cycle. So we have mentioned it in the previous class. Water cycle, yes. So this. Is, water cycle or the hydrological cycle you have learned in your previous class so do remember the chapter water right in your geography so now water is uh, now you can say water uh, neither can be removed or neither can be added or subtracted in the process in the meanwhile in the process of water cycle so water travels maybe in the form of vapor right so again maybe so again there are few processes like maybe one is precipitation right you may have studied about this precipitation the second one is the evaporation e evaporation Tidal O N evaporation, right? So these are the process. The water cycle is done, right? So these uh, in the ocean, right? The ocean when it gets heated, the water in the form of vapor it rises and form clouds and process. The water will come down in the form of rain. So like precipitation also the process of Uh, process of water it will go up and also uh, with the condensation uh, like the clouds are formed and water is come down and the process is raining right so water goes up and comes down right so now neither with this statement we can say that water is neither subtracted nor added so this is the one process uh, about this water cycle so now evaporation precipitation and there is one and there is one uh, like conservation process like we say that one more process you have read it is transpiration transpiration it takes place in plants so for example some of the plants during the some of the trees uh, like they don't have much water so now the water uh, so the trees some of the trees they shed their leaves they get uh, dried up uh, maybe some of the portion and the water they are conserved in the maybe uh, in the roots Or in the stem, or maybe in the plant, they have this process of transpiration. This process of transpiration, water is conserved there. They have they use this water. Conserved there. They have they use this water. So now this is about the 
water cycle water traveling from maybe from land sea natural vegetation so now natural vegetation refers to this uh, maybe the green grass or trees or plants which are covered and also herbs so these are all covered throughout the earth surface so now this is the next one about this sorry water now in water conservation of water the next topic in this topic is conservation of water so now how do we conserve water right so now there are many methods to conserve water the very first method right the very first method is again this natural vegetation which has in like a uh, forest and other natural vegetation cover right for we can vegetation cover we can say vegetation cover so now what does this vegetation cover does right so here in the land also we have uh, we have come across the vegetation cover in the soil also we have come across the vegetation cover and now in conservation of water we are again coming across this term same term vegetation cover it means afforestation a forest station yes again we have to plant more and more tree trees has yes, to make again like the uh, right now the forest which is depleting right so more and more again we have to make more and more forests so as well as to so this water is present now this again here the land yes the lands that you have seen and again here in the soil yes they, they hold the uh, root firmly and now here yes they uh, help in maybe replenishing the underground water which is stored and again also the uh, water is also uh, the moisture is also preserved by this natural vegetation cover right so this is a forestation this is the very first method and then the next one we have is water rain water harvesting we have rain water harvesting rain water harvesting yes so now here it is one term you may have been you may have been uh, familiar with this rain water harvesting but now let's we you know this term uh, water harvesting rain water harvesting so now usually rain water harvesting is the process of collecting the rain water from the rooftops from the rooftops and preserving them those metropolitan cities uh, the municipal corporation has made mandatory for the new new upcoming apartments to have this rain water harvesting system compulsory so they have made a because of the because of right so whereas if i go uh, just maybe on 15 to 20 kilometers so we can come across one more place here uh, very much near so we can take it as which place of okay. will be our pratapal very near place it is okay so now gulbarga is an urban but whereas pratapal is a rural so now this water scarcity problem we can find much more in urban areas rather than rural areas because the uh, like more and more people like the population so as a result the demand or need of water is more in urban areas than rural areas especially uh, for the domestic purpose as well as the commercial purpose so both here and here so this is the reason uh, why this rain water harvesting system in some of the metropolitan cities the municipal corporation has made it mandatory for this rain water harvesting process right and then this is our the second type right? and then the next one you can remember this by the word sea page sea page it's 
water seepage right so uh, you may have seen that water is used for irrigation purpose right so now any water from lake water from lake or maybe sometimes river been diverted been sent through a canal to the fields or the for the agricultural purpose so now these canals so where the water is transported from maybe it may be a lake to the agriculture land or maybe from a river to a agriculture land or by a storage rain water storage is done so from there to a, a river for there to agriculture land so there this canal so that the water which is flowing in the middle this shouldn't be like for example any holes in the canal so that the flow of water is maybe slowed and as a result the water may be slowly slowly accumulating from those small holes or porous substances we can call it so they may again so they here the loss of water here also the loss of water so we can see that the canals which has to be lined properly for the flow of water need to a uh, slowly uh, seepage stands for the slowly leaking slowly leaking through a hole of, so which resulting in loss of water so this second method seepage canal seepage right so this has to be checked third one fourth one familiar with this word called sprinkler sprinkler system so might be in any of your home maybe in the garden you may be using this sprinkler system to water the plants so now here this is can be uh, reduced see in the agriculture we are rugby field you can see once the match is done you can see the sprinkler system sprinkler system, they are coming up and the water is uh, spread the, the, the water is being water is used but with a minimum loss and then the next one we have right so this is the report trickle irrigation so they are very much useful in dry regions in dry regions they are used in dry especially where the temperature is very high where the water may evaporate easily right so there we don't have the water much more water is abundantly available there so hence this system drip or trickle irrigation so now you may have seen like uh, in this drip irrigation for those particular for example if here there are few plants i'm just taking a line see right Like for example, if here tree number one, okay, P one, plant two, plant three, plant number four, plant number five, right? Again, P one one, P one two, P one three, P one four, P one five. And just maybe the plant. See now here, exactly on the a pipeline will be passed, water pipeline right? will be passed. So. then for each just just very close to that plant this pipe so the hole each one will have hole definitely the water will be flowing very limitedly then the water is not at all wasted here it will fall here only once the water again slowly drop one here drop drop drop, drop. so it is very Plant which requires water, which helps in growing the plant. So now this uh, drip or trickle irrigation is also one of the uh, to conserve water. So now these are the just a uh, few types where water can be conserved. So now just have a quick recap about this water conservation. Right? So the very first. cover or the natural vegetation cover or you can use the word a forestation then next we have the 
water harvesting it is rain water harvesting the other then the third one we have the canal seepage or the seepage stoppage uh, checking of water which is a uh, leak in a canal right the flow of the water must be checked oftenly to uh, check the loss of water through seepages right and then after that we have sprinklers the fourth type where the water conserved okay so after this next topic natural vegetation okay some of those terminologies which you come like biosphere biosphere and then we have ecosystem yes ecosystem we have okay so now in this natural vegetation topic we will come across the term biosphere ecosystem so now uh, in your very first chapter of geography resources was your first chapter in this you have studied the definition of biosphere yes let's recall so what is biosphere biosphere is a narrow zone of contact right where lithosphere and like the h lithosphere hydrosphere crust hydro water atmosphere air so in your seventh standard you have studied the definition as biosphere is a thin uh, a narrow zone of contact crust is land land water air which supports the natural it supports the living beings which supports the living beings the definition for this was for your grade 7 so now the improvised version in your grade 8 it is biosphere is the narrow zone of contact like lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere which supports the living being so now why are we studying about this particularly biosphere yes now here this natural vegetation they to support us they to support us for us to live so now what are the uses of plants and animals plants and animals so let's take up plant plant will give us timber plant will give us flower with again plants we get wood maybe again it is used for cooking right so this flowers so there are many uses where the plants come to us for usage and then plants will provide us oxygen o2 very important for us oxygen very important for us to live on earth oxygen right so now let's again some points for this animals this animals two are useful for us right so some of when we take about the domestic animals like the cattle domestic animals and like when we take about these wild animals wild life animals maybe tiger elephant leopard 
so now again in the animals we also use like commonly in general we also use birds also birds it may be peacock eagle again vulture you may think like only this plants yes they provide us timber flower oxygen which is very necessary for us for us to live and again yes cattle yes they do help us cattle they uh, give us maybe milk and wool meat for this cattle and then tiger so you can ask why this tiger where do, where does and how does it help us yes elephant we have seen this tiger elephants leopards eagle vulture yes you can all see they are uh, maybe some of them used in the circus for the entertainment purpose so now actually what are those how they come into this biosphere so now after this biosphere after all these plants and animals birds so they come one more term like ecosystem right so now these plants and animals inter are interdependent on each other plants and animals are inter dependent on each other living so that system or that process we call it as ecosystem we call it as ecosystem plants and animals are interdependent on each other for their survival so this process of survival is called as ecosystem okay so then we have the uses so now we have plants we have fruits we have birds okay so now you may have seen a bee a honey bee right honey bee honey bee they do prepare us honey definitely we get honey and also they help in pollination of flowers they travel they migrate from one place to another or one flower to another which helps in pollination of flowers pollination of flowers so this pollination uh, you may have in biology you may have uh, studied definitely pollination of flowers how the flowers they are grown are multiplied with this process of pollination this pollination the honey bee which flies or which uh, travels from one flower to one uh, another flower or one plant to another plant so they help in the pollination of flowers so now again there are some of these microorganisms are also there microorganisms microorganisms also there which helps so in microorganisms we may be have two types of the uh, maybe again which is helpful for us and which is uh, one more is useful and another is the opposite of that so we have the microorganisms so now again after this let's come to vultures animals are interdependent on each other for their survival so we have the life cycle the moment let me draw this cycle for you grass grass grasshopper uh grasshopper eaten by frog frog eaten by snake snake eaten by eagle when it dies eagle dies decompose and again it will be a manure for or fertilizer for grass so the decomposition process 
takes place in the presence of soil water humus right so they are decomposed with the process and again that particular uh, decomposition again it is a manual or manual for this grass so now here in this this is the food chain we can look grass eaten by grasshopper grasshopper is eaten by frog frog eaten by snake snake eaten by eagle and then when it dies it decomposes and again the decompose is used for this uh, grass right so this is how the ecosystem works the eco simple like uh, a simple uh, life cycle cycle we can see and now one term did you do you know this right so you may have seen vultures so now vultures are those animals which which eat the dead animals which feed on dead animals so dead animals have been eaten and also by this way uh, they help in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem right so now again vulture so now in the textbook they have mentioned like do you know a fact about vultures do you know fact about vultures in subcontinent especially subcontinent asia continent is referred as subcontinent right subcontinent many of the vultures the they found that vultures are dying of kidneys kidney stone they are dying of the kidney stone they got to, they got to know the reason for the kidney stone problem it is because the animals or the dead animals which they were eating they had found a particular painkiller it's diclofenac so now diclofenac is a chemical right so which used for human beings or for human beings for the they are used as basically a painkiller right so you may have heard the tablet maybe crocin desprin right so uh, again so these are those tablets which contain diclofenac so they contain all this type of uh, uh, diclofenac so this is something used for uh, this painkiller purpose and again they contain aspirin so these are all those chemicals which are used in forming this diclofenac uh, diclofenac injection definitely you can the doctor will insist you when there is a pain for you so now this diclofenac like when they when these vultures feed on those dead animals or uh, dead animals so they have eaten and they have found that this particular the way it they have found this diclofenac substance in those dead body in those animals so now again there's a word which has come across to stop the uh, production of diclofenac this injection or this particular chemical diclofenac that definitely they are because of the vultures they were dying by eating those dead animals they found that they were suffering from kidney stones kidney stone problem and they have died. their number was uh, their number was decreasing when the research was done or the survey was done they found diclofenac was found in their body like which has come by eating those dead animals so now diclofenac some of the words in major of the countries is diclofenac is banned they are they have put a ban for this diclofenac okay so this was just for do you know it maybe you can call it as trivia t r i v i a trivia maybe for lesser importance it may be a fact okay so this was about the natural vegetation in this we have studied about uh, this biosphere as well as ecosystem so today in our class in this class we have studied right we have studied about the first topic being the conservation of water
so before that we have studied about the water cycle right so in those five types we have discussed and then natural vegetation just uh, introduction regarding this natural vegetation about this biosphere biosphere and ecosystem and also uh, food chain has also been explained so thus ends uh, today's class we will see you tomorrow have a good day